Hello everyone. In this video I explain integration between Jenkins and Cakewalk with RS2 protocol to log in to the Jenkins interface from one of the users which located inside of Active Directory. As in previous videos I said, inside of Cakewalk I configured user federation. We have all users which located in our Active Directory. Jenkins works in this URL which I opened here. We can see Jenkins URL here, it's present, and at the same time, Cakewalk. Maybe session timed out, yes. So I will not stay in this topology, it's nearly the same as in previous videos I showed. I will switch to the configuration part. So I configured client inside of client list of the real, inside of realm infra in Cakewalk with the name Jenkins. Nothing new here, it's almost the same as in previews, but one important part I want to show you inside of... I will switch to the code parts, inside of repository where will be located configuration file which I did. We have docker file, which from base image of the Jenkins itself, on the fly, I will copy plugin text, which inside of plugins I am installing Keyclock and role strategy plugins to my container, and at the same time at the end, uh, I started it inside of my local uh, host where VS Code works. And I have two containers right now. One of them Cakewalk and another one uh, Jenkins itself. And the third one is Active Directory. And this container, if I will do Docker PS, we see both of them works. And these plugins already installed. I have already integrated two, but I will show you the parts, important parts, what I did here. This JSON file, when you will install plugins, let me switch to the Jenkins interface. As we see, I have, sorry, I must log in again. I have T01 user, which manage Jenkins button available for this user because it's under role of the admin. I will show this part too. After installation of Jenkins, of course, these plugins which I showed before already installed too. In the security, we can see on the security realm on the authentication, it was before like as Jenkins own user database. I changed to to Keyclock authentication plugin. At the same time, I switched from role-based strategy inside of authorization. It was before like as logged in user can do anything, but this part. I got on the client configuration of Jenkins download adapter config Cakelog wide solution. I just copied this part and paste here. After that, apply and save. Then switch to the manage Jenkins and manage and assign roles. I created here, you can type here anything you want. I, I changed I created three groups, admin, developer, and read only. Even from the fields which I show here, you can give an access per each of them. I mean, if I will click to the add button, it will create another role. We don't need this. So I created three roles and gave, gave an access for each of the role, which I need per role definition of the role name, of course. Of course, admin can, must do an, everything which we need. Developers, some developer access at the same time, read only user with read only accesses. And then switch to the assign roles. One, one moment I want to say, when first time you do login to the Jenkins with the OIDC, the user will come from Active Directory and it will present inside of people list. And after that, of course, if I will do right now, which not present here, we will see no any any access for this user will not present here. Let me show it even with the incognito window. Copy the URL to the Jenkins and try to find which one not exists. Even from VS Code, we can get it. Users. For example, DM brand not present. Uh, even we can check it. DM brand not present. So definitely, the password. <coughs> so as we see, we don't have any access to do that. Of course, after login, if I will do refresh, the user will be present here. 
I can add user D Ember to one of the groups which present here as we see admin developer and read only. So I will add this user D which one D Ember. And check for example read only user. Then apply and save. Switch back to the page, try to refresh, as we see we have an access, even if I will change it from read only to admin, apply, save, try to refresh, manage Jenkins button will be present here. So that's it actually. We have user, actually simple user, which we configured, we have three roles. We added with more permission the same user, with low permission the same user. With this way, we can control all users to log into our Jenkins interface. I hope it will be useful. Thank you for watching.